Although there have been over a dozen Ryzen AI Max Plus 395 machines announced, there are only a handful you can actually buy right now. Today, we're going to go over the five AI Max Plus 395 mini PCs you can actually buy, so you can decide which one best fits on your desk. And be sure to watch at the end for comparison charts ranking the best ones by size, price, and more. First, a note about commonalities. Because these computers all use the same chip, you'll find that some of the features are the same. AMD's Ryzen AI Max Plus 395, also known as Strix Halo, is AMD's most powerful APU chip in 2025, and allows you to run large AI models when paired with tons of memory. Internally, these computers can all go up to 128GB of memory, with 96GB accessible by the Radeon 8060S GPU for AI business like large language models. For storage, these machines have two NVMe sockets, although most only come with one, or sometimes no drives by default. For display support, all of them except one support up to four displays through one HDMI, one DisplayPort, and two USB 4 Type-C ports. For networking, you'll get Wi-Fi 7, also known as 802.11be, and Bluetooth 5.2 on most models. Those are what's the same, but there are differences across the models as well, so let's get to them in alphabetical order. First up is the Boss Game M5 AI Mini Desktop. Price starting at $1489 for 96GB of memory and 1TB of storage, this is actually the cheapest computer in this list. However, you can also opt for 128GB of memory and 2TB of storage for $16.99, which is one of the best values on this list as you'll see. Display support is a little bit uncertain here, as in some marketing materials, Boss Game claims HDMI 2.1 supporting 8K at 60Hz resolution, while others say it's HDMI 2.0 that only goes up to 4K at 60Hz. In addition to the two USB 4 Type-C ports, you get three 10 gigabit per second Type-A ports, two USB 2 ports, an SD card reader, and two audio combo jacks. There's also a performance VOD switch to let you go between quieter operation and max performance. The design looks a bit gamerish, but being able to use it in a horizontal or vertical orientation is nice. Boss Game doesn't provide exact dimensions or weight, though it seems like it's a standard flat box mini PC. Next, we've got the GM Tech Evo X2 AI mini PC. It starts at $14.99, which is similar to the Boss Game, but comes with only 64 gigabytes of memory and one terabyte of storage, so it's a worse value. The 128GB memory and 2TB storage configuration is also more expensive at $19.99, but that's more in line with the other machines on this list. Display support is more certain here, clearly specking HDMI 2.1 with fixed rate link at 8 gigabits per second data rates, which should be 32 gigabits per second of total bandwidth. Other port connectivity is similar to the Boss Game, with two USB 4 Type-C ports, three USB 3.2 Type-A ports, and two USB 2 ports. You also get an SD card reader, two audio combo jacks, and a performance mode switch. Unlike other models, Bluetooth support is version 5.4 instead of 5.2. The design of the GMK Tech is more boxy, but still unique looking. In my opinion, it looks rather nice and certainly more professional than the Boss Game, whether you put it in horizontal or vertical orientation. Third on this list is also the most awkward. FEVM has the FAEX9 mini PC for sale on AliExpress. All models come with 128GB of memory, but you can get no storage for the lowest, but still expensive, price of $2362, or go up to 4TB of storage for $2666. Keep in mind you'll need to add in shipping costs too though. Reports say it should offer the same HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 1.4, and two USB 4 ports like the others. Images of the machine reveal the other ports, with the main differences here being what looks like five USB 3 Type-A ports instead of having two of them being USB 2, like the Boss Game and GMK Tech. The other unique feature to the FEVM is the OcuLink connector for external GPU expansion. The understated design is more minimalistic than the others, and the height of the unit is smaller than the others, resulting in a volume of only 2.1 liters as well, the smallest on this list. This next computer is the most interesting one in my opinion, but first, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button to let me know. All right, so up next we have the Framework Desktop. As its name implies, it's one of the biggest mini PCs on this list, but it's also extremely customizable like a desktop computer. That's true for the front face plates to give it a customized look, the choice of configuration that goes beyond just memory and storage, but also to things like the operating system, cooling fan, and even power cord, and also the front I.O. ports you want to have. The base price of the AI Max Plus 395 chip model with 64 gigabytes of memory starts at $1599. That seems to be in line with the other models, but keep in mind that you'll need to add on costs if you want storage, windows, a CPU fan, customization tiles, or even front ports. Speaking of ports, the framework is actually the most powerful and the most limited in this regard. The rear ports are fixed, 
and display capabilities are unique on this model with HDMI 2.1 along with two DisplayPort 2.1 ports, only still get up to four displays like the others. The framework has only two other USB 3.2 Type-A ports, while adding additional ones require using up one of the two front I.O. expansion slots. However, that only allows for up to four Type-A ports in total, and if you wanted an SD card reader or front audio jack, you need to save one of the slots for that instead. The Ethernet port is faster at 5 gigabit instead of 2.5 gigabit though, so that's pretty nice. That's why I say the framework is more powerful and flexible, but the total ports you can add are also more limited than the others. Overall, the framework looks most like a normal PC, and due to the customization, it needs some assembly as well. But the size is bigger than what we've seen so far at 4.5 liters, and shipping times are currently going into Q4. The final computer we'll look at is the Nemo AI395 mini PC. Starting at 1999, you get 128 gigabytes of memory and two terabytes of storage. There's also an option for four terabytes of storage for a whopping $400 more at $23.99, which is not a good deal at all, so just ignore that and buy your own storage drives. The ports of the Nemo are similar to the others, with HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 1.4, two USB 4.0 Type-C ports, and five Type-A ports split between three with USB 3 and two with USB 2 speeds. An SD card reader, two audio combo jacks, and the standard 2.5 gigabit LAN round out the ports along with what looks like a performance mode switch. So nothing really different here. In terms of physical size, it's basically the same volume as the framework at 4.5 liters, but it's taller and less deep, so it could take up a bit less room on the desk. The design isn't really anything special though, which might be to your taste. All told, probably the most normal offering in this list. All right, it's time to pull out the ranking charts. First, if you want the smallest AI Max Plus 395 mini PC, the FEVM is the winner at only 2.1 liters in volume. The overall size isn't that drastically different from the second place GMK Tech though, other than being a bit thinner. The Boss Game should come in third, with its protruding fins making it slightly larger than the GMK Tech. Finally, the Nemo and the Framework are significantly larger than the other three. If you're looking for the best display support, the Framework desktop takes the crown with its two DisplayPort 2.1 ports compared with a single DisplayPort on the other models. Similarly, if you want the fastest networking speeds, the Framework offers 5 gigabit Ethernet versus 2.5 for the others. And if you're looking for the most customizable computer in both features and looks, the Framework Desktop again takes the crown. The ability to customize the cooling solution, front I.O. ports, and the design panels make it extremely versatile. And finally, if you want the best value, the Boss Game M5 AI Mini Desktop leads the pack, with a starting price of $1489 for the 96GB memory config, and only $1699 for the 128GB model. That's $300 less than the GMK Tech, Framework, and Nemo. The worst value by far is FEVM, with a starting price of $2362 plus shipping that doesn't include any storage. So which AI Max Plus 395 mini PC would you buy? Personally, I'm most interested in either the Boss Game for its unbeatable value, or the Framework Desktop for its customizability and flexibility, especially the potential for silent cooling. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel for more like it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!